the streams of Missouri lives the Lampsilis mussel, a simple animal with an extraordinary life cycle. To reach adulthood, its young must spend part of their lives inside a fish, the largemouth bass. To get there, the mussels must make physical contact, a difficult task, as mussels don't swim. But the bass has a weakness. It's a voracious predator of small fish, particularly darters. Even the slightest wriggle of a darter's tail will attract bass. Believe it or not, the fish on the mussel is an imitation, a perfect replica that will lure bass within striking range. The mussel can somehow sense approaching fish and wriggles its lure faster to entice them. If it gets the twitching just right, the remarkable likeness should do the rest. On impact, the mussel squirts its young into the bass's mouth. These snap shut on the gills, like spring-loaded traps. Here they stay, drawing blood from the fish, until several weeks later they drop off as tiny, fully formed mussels. Also a favorite prey of the bass are these striped shiners, and some mussels mimic them. Considering mussels are blind and have never seen a shiner, the likeness is incredible. The eyes, fins, and even the stripe look just right, yet the mussel knows nothing of its own appearance. These lures have evolved because bass more often attack mussels that look like fish. So fishy-looking mussels leave more descendants. After millions of years of blind evolution, this process of selection has turned mussel flesh into a lifelike lure. It takes a good imitation to fool a bass in clear water, and some of them are incredible. This darter mimic even has a mouth which gulps. This mussel is the same species, but its curious leopard print design may not find a taker, and its genes will go no further. This lure looks pretty good, but the bass is unconvinced and turns it down. Mussel lures are constantly improving, but fish are getting ever better at recognizing fakes. It's another arms race, and it's still creating diversity in the streams of Missouri to this day.